Hey Weaver Beavers, it's Miss Huntley. Like many of you know, my favorite animal is the narwhal. I love narwhals because they have this sweet horn that grows off the top of their head. They, it's kind of like a tooth. They're called the unicorns of the sea, which is awesome. They live in the Arctic Ocean, which is salt water. Salt water, that's got me thinking. I have the perfect idea for our next STEM challenge. Let's go check it out. All right, like I said, we're gonna talk about salt water a little bit. We're gonna explore the density of salt water and explain how it's more dense than fresh water. But first, what you'll need for this experiment is at least two different containers that are the same size. It's best if they're clear so you can see. You're gonna need to fill them with water. To make it an accurate experiment, make sure they're filled with the same amount of water. You can use a measuring cup or just eyeball it if you need to. Then you'll need lots and lots of salt. In order for this to work, your salt water will have to be very salty. You'll have to mix it up using a spoon or a fork, and it might take a while, but that's okay. And finally, you'll need an egg. You can use any type of egg, it doesn't matter. We're gonna test to see if the egg floats in each of these kinds of water, and then explain how density is working to make it possible. All right, let's zoom in and check it out. When I take our egg and carefully put it in the fresh water or the water that just came straight from the tap, if you watch closely, it automatically sinks straight to the bottom of my glass. But if I put it in my very, very salty water, carefully setting it in, you'll see that it floats and bobs at the top. The only difference between these two waters is that this one is filled with a lot of salt. The salt water is more dense than the fresh water. That means that it has more mass per square inch. Therefore, the egg floats because the egg is less dense than the water. It's not gonna sink to the bottom. The egg is more dense than our fresh water, which is why right when I put it in, it sunk to the bottom. I challenge you to try our egg density experiment at home. Remember, you'll need a glass of fresh water, a glass of salt water, and it takes a lot of salt and an egg. If you're looking for an extra challenge, try this. Use about half the amount of salt water and put your egg in. You'll see it's floating at the top. Now carefully pour equal amounts of your fresh water on top. You wanna do it slowly. I'll add in a little bit more to make it even. Now you'll see my egg is floating in the middle of my cup. It's not at the top, but it hasn't sunk to the bottom. Why do you think that's happening? Send me your pictures, videos, and messages for your entry into Scientist of the Week. You can also try this part of the experiment and try to explain to me why is this happening. Good luck, Weaver Beavers.